Hello, Hello all. all. Like much of the rest of the world, we are currently following the shelter at home orders for our area. Fortunately, we here at Game Night had recorded a large number of videos prior to the current epidemic, so we will be able to continue showing these new episodes with you over the coming months. This is one of them. So please, stay safe, stay at home, and enjoy this week's episode. Tonight on Game Night, Sarah, Nikki, Nick, Lincoln, and myself, Dave, are going to play Pappy Winchester, a game for three to five players, published by Blue Orange, and designed by Jeremy Pinget. So, let's find out how much money the old man left us. Hey, Dave. Hey, Lincoln. Will you teach us Pappy Winchester? I will. Pappy Winchester <laughs> has died, uh -oh, but no. we're all his relatives. Hey. And he's got all this money, and he's hidden it, sort of, put it in his land. He wants us basically to play for his inheritance. Oh. Right. Right. And then whoever has the most money at the end of the game gets to rule the family. Oh. So. Um, does this have the Winchester Mystery House in it? It doesn't. Oh. It has a train and a boat <laughs> and a saloon and a ranch, but no. It's basically an auction game. As you can see, there are 19 different plots of land on the board. And we're going to auction them off one at a time, randomly. We'll flip one of these. These are numbers 1 through 19. And then, starting from whoever the start player is, we will auction them off. Um, when you, we all have, we all start with $8,000. Money is supposed to be secret in this game, so if you want to hold it under the table or do what you want, go for it. I'm just going to leave mine stacked here on the table, because ultimately, who cares? <laughs> um, uh, when you are the start player, you can either bid or pass. If you open the bid, it can be any amount you want, and then it just goes clockwise around the table. If you want to bid more, you can bid more by any amount. There's no, you can jump bid. There's no restriction as to how high or low. If you pass, however, you're out. You cannot come back in. And we'll keep going around until someone wins the bid. All right? When someone wins that bid, here's how they pay the bid. They first divide their bid up amongst the other players if possible. So if I bid $4,000 for something, then when, and I win that bid, you will all get $1,000 from me, all right? Okay. If there's any extra money, it goes here into the saloon. The saloon, which is being covered by this bill, mm. starts with $1,000 in it, all right? And so money can accumulate in the saloon, and how we get that money, I'll explain, all right? So we're, gonna, we're basically gonna bid. I'm gonna take this little token. All the plots have three tokens on them, all right? Um, this boat train one, which is going to move the boat or train. This rumor token, which uh, lets you look at a card. I'll explain that later. And the saloon token. All right, I'll explain this one now because if you win a plot, let's say I win plot 12, and it has a saloon token on it, that is how you get all the money from the saloon. All right? You cannot, however, get any money that you would put in the saloon that turn. Mm -hmm. So mm. when you win the thing with the saloon token, Take all the money first off to the side, but again, it can't count for your bid, right? You have to, you can never bid more than you can bid. So if I bid 5,000, you would all get one and one would go in the saloon, but I would not get that one back. Or if I bid three and I won, right, all three of those would go in the saloon because that can't divide up amongst the other four players. All right, so um, there are three mines at the top of the board, and there's a ranch down here, and the mines are gonna have a card on each of them, all right? There are five mine cards, and we're gonna shuffle them. Two of them are worth nothing. One is worth 2,000, one is worth 3,000, and one is worth 5,000, all right? So these are gonna be face down, and you're not gonna know which are which, but if you wanna plot a land with a rumor token on it, you can peek at one of those cards, mm. okay? okay. All right, so here's three. Don't look at them and put them on those mind spaces for me. All right. There's a ranch that's right here. There are three ranch cards for the ranch. One is worth nothing, one is worth three, and one is worth five. All right, and again, go ahead and shuffle those. And when you're done, put one here and hand me the other two. And again, that is another card. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. What do I do with this? Put a right face down right here. 
So that is another card you can look at if you win a plot of land that has the rumor token on it. Mm. All right? We are all each going to have two secret objective cards. All right? And I'm going to explain them all because in a five-player game, we're going to deal them all out. All right, so this is going to be, at the end of the game, you're going to get $3,000 for every one of these boat movement tokens that you have. I think there's one for each of those. There isn't. There's $3,000 for a rumor. Okay? There is no saloon. Okay? This is $5,000 for every plot of land that is around the saloon. Okay? That's the ranch, isn't it? No, that's the saloon. It's okay, this, this, sorry. this, and this. It does look the same. That you own, right? That you own, correct. Mm -hmm. All right? That is $3,000 for around the ranch. If you, have, if you own the ranch and the five pieces around the ranch. Okay? okay? That is $3,000 if you have a plot of land that's near the train tracks, that's adjacent to the train tracks, that borders the train tracks. Um, there's one same for the river, which means this plot does both. If you happen to have both of those objectives, you can score that twice. Mm -hmm. okay. $5,000 for any of the three mine spaces. So you can make 15000 if you own all three. All right. Uh, $3,000 if you have any um, prairie space, that land type. Prairie land type, three thousand dollars for any desert land type, three thousand dollars for any forest land type. Okay, and that's those are all of them. So you're going to get two of those at the beginning of the game, and we're going to score them at the very end when the game is over, all right? Based on what they are. Oof. Do they hurt you if you don't nope. fulfill at all? No, nope. okay. they're just extra bonuses, and then there are going to be five common goals out of a deck of ten. I'm going to just shuffle them and bring them up. They're going to be worth three, four, five, six, and seven thousand dollars if you complete one on your turn when you get a plot of land. So for three thousand dollars, put that on top of the three thousand dollars. If you just own any five pieces of land, okay. all right, you can claim that card. Mm. For four thousand dollars, if you own four pieces of land that don't touch each other, mm. okay, all right. Hmm. For $5,000 if you have one of each type, of okay. the terrain type. Yeah. Okay. For $6,000 if you buy a plot of land with the saloon token on it and there's no money in the saloon. Nice. Hmm. All right. And last but not yeah, least, nice. for the big money, three pieces of land that touch each other, that are one contiguous chunk. Chunk. All right. Let me go back to these tokens. So the rumor tokens I've already explained. You can look at the ranch card. You can look at any of the mine cards. You can, if you want, look at other players' sec uh, secret objective mm. card. Mm. You can look okay. at one of their cards. All right? I don't really know. I mean, maybe there's strategic reason to figure out if you're going to bid out, bid someone, or if someone's fighting for a piece of land. But you can do it. Um, all right. When you buy a plot of land that has the movement token, you will move either the boat or the train. Okay? You can move it anywhere along the track or the river, and you can leave it where, you want, where it stands now. But after that, you will then activate that train or that boat, and it will pay $1,000 to all people that own land around the train and the boat. Okay? So... They're just throwing money out as they're going by? Yeah, they're just tossing it. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a Mardi Gras train or boat. <laughs> right. That's all players, by the way, right? So that... That's how you can get money on someone else's turn, for example. Okay. Um, and then finally, as if that weren't enough, we each have this little dual token, okay? There are two dual cards, a gunshot and a blank, all right? Hmm. And if you are in a bid, and it's you and one other player, every, the, in this case, three players have passed, and it's you and another player, and... Instead of upping your bid, you can instead use your dual token, token to challenge that player to a duel. All right? You spend your token. You only have one for the whole game. So if, once you use it, it's gone. Then someone not in the duel will shuffle these two cards. Someone gets one, someone gets the other, and duel. Whoever wins the duel gets the land for whatever the last bid was. So if, I, if it's just me and Lincoln and I bid two and he bids three and I bid four and Lincoln says, mm, I'm going to duel. Whoever wins the duel is going to buy the land for four. Right. All right? And again, you can only do this once. 
So you can't okay. you can't go into a duel if you, and, and, and if the other person bid four and I decide to duel, I can't have three. So I have to be able to pay four. Correct. Okay. Correct. You are bidding. And this Wait. is I'm I'm dueling a family member. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not all families get along. I guess not. <laughs> Is this worth anything at the end of the game? Uh, it is potential tiebreaker, but no. Mm -hmm. Your your end game scoring is going to be all of the money that you amass, plus any of these cards that you pick up if they have money on them. You don't take money from the bank for the cards. You just the card counts as the money, um, and then however much money you make from your secret goals. And then whoever has the most plots of land on the board gets a bonus of five thousand, mm -hmm. and. If there is a tie, which seems likely, then whoever has the largest, like, contiguous patch oh, okay. gets cool. the 5,000. And if that's a tie, then all tied players get the 5,000. Okay. And, and then, people can't take these away from you, right? No. Okay. Here, I'll just give you two. There's two. There's two. There's two. All right. All right, and the player who last saw a Western is a start player, but after that, whoever wins the auction is a start player for the next round. Last saw wow. a Western? Nope. Anyone? The last movie we saw was John Wick 3. Not Nikki quite will probably one. have seen the last to see a Western she watches. Uh, we watched Wyatt Earp the other, All right. like a couple weeks Done. ago. Tombstone, you mean? Tombstone. Yeah. A it's you. Of them deputized. Oh, boy. All right. Do you want me to just draw one for you, or do you want to pick one out for yourself? I want that one. This one? Yes. All right. Six. <laughs> Where's six? It's up there somewhere. Six, uh, right? Yeah. Yep. No. That's yeah. nine. Oh, there's six. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's, yeah. A little no. sliver. No, yeah, there's no that hole. All right. So we are bidding for six. And it starts with Nikki. Okay. And that's got a saloon token, so it's worth an extra $1,000 if you win it. Oh, if I win it. What am I trying All right. To get? So I'll just do a... Th I'm starting just with a 1000 2,000. 3,000. Pass. Pass. Hmm. Did you do three? Yeah. Yeah. Four? Do I need it that bad? I don't know, but that's <laughs> what 4,000 looks like. I'll bid five. Pass. Pass. Well, I'm already out. Yeah. Me too. Pass. All right. So you get this. See, there has to be a bank, right? Oh, no, it divides. No. Yeah, everybody gets one. One. Thank one, you. one, and one goes to the saloon. All right, you get you get that saloon because of that token, mm -hmm. and keep it in front of you because those could be worth stuff. Uh, and then put your hat on six to indicate that you own that land. And then where are we going next? And you get the sheriff's badge. You're the start player for the next round. Um, I don't know why I needed that. Now that I'm looking at it, <laughs> <laughs> hey, land um, is land. You can do the four different ones. Yeah. That's a good different one. Um, Which one of these? Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at the board and hoping that something... We're doing number seven. All right. <laughs> is that over here? Yes, yeah, it is. Right there. All right. Want to start with you? A little hat on there. I will bid $1,000. Two. Four. Hmm. Pass. Five. Pass. Pass. Six. Wow. El Pass. El Paso. All right. El Paso. One for you. Thank you. One for you. Thanks. One for you. One for you. Thanks. And two for here. Ooh. All right. Hat. Can I have that token, please? Uh, seven. Seven. Seven, Lincoln. I'm sorry. No worries. And can I see the middle mine card, please? Thank you. <laughs> All right, next up, Sheriff's Badge me. Ten. Ten, right here. Ten. Ten tickles. <laughs> uh, by the way, the rules basically say that, like, if you forget to get one of these, you can still get it on your next turn, but let's just look out for each other on these things. Okay. And not forget. On the tokens? No, on these. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These, it's easy to not remember that you've maybe fulfilled one of those things. Sure. Okay. Where are we going? We're at 10. We're at 10. Okay. 
So it occurs to me, I think we're supposed to be using this little auction token. So we're doing 10 right now? Yeah. yeah. yeah right? So I don't think these are actually supposed to stay on the board. Or even, or even go over. on the board. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seems good. Yeah. Uh, oh, pass. Oh, I didn't say this, but um, in the likely event that everybody passes on an auction, then the start player is required to buy it for a thousand. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. But in this case, pass. <laughs> okay. Um, Can't imagine that would ever happen. So, if since, there's no money, since you started, I could say like a thousand, right? You could say whatever you want. Okay. Um, sure, a thousand. Um, two thousand. Pass. Three thousand. Pass. Pass. Three thousand, four thousand. Pass. You win. Okay. Nothing to One, the two, saloon. three, four. But Nikki gets the saloon. Yep. Yep, that's pretty sweet. One each. Take one. Okay. I should start buying some land, probably. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> you get the... this. Ah. Okay. All right. Which one, Nikki? Oh. That one over there. This one? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, 19 over by me, right here. Okay. Starts with you. Everybody left A thousand. Two thousand. Three thousand. Pass. Wow. Four. Well, no, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, that's okay. You was getting excited. Like, <laughs> I'm bidding. I, I'm going to pass anyway, so four stands. <laughs> four. Pass. <laughs> Five. Pass. Pass. Good. Good five? Yeah. I don't think that lands that good. <laughs> All right. Now, he'll move the boat now, right? Or the train. Nice. Then the rest this goes here. No, just one. You just bid one. five, right? Yeah. So, yes. keep, keep, don't overpay. I know. You get this. Yes. Get this there. You get this token, and now you get okay. to move the boat or the train. And the boat or train... Well, mm -hmm. you don't have anything near anything, right? Yep. So, so it doesn't really... No, so you I probably want to like move the train to someplace unhelpful. Right? Uh, actually, move the boat. Anywhere you move the boat is going to give money to someone. Mm. All right, let's move the train then. There you go. There you go. That gives money <laughs> to... Should have like, choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> choo -choo -choo. We've done a lot of choo-choo games. Give that man the badge for what it's worth. Choo -choo. <laughs> go ahead and flip one, Nick. All right. Here we go. Four. Four. Your. Oh, the mine. What's a mine? It's a mine. It's a mine. Ooh, and no one's looked at that one yet, I don't think, they right? They did. Mm -hmm. oh. Did you look at the middle? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. 2003. Oh, you bid three. Three. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to say well, four then. Okay. Five. Pass. I would never do that. Oh, pass. Pass. Is that five? It's at five. Duo. Who has it? You? Me. Duo. Duo. <laughs> Finish it. <laughs> I would have to spend six, and you said that they could be worth nothing. Zero, three, or five. <laughs> then I'm going to pass, because I would pay six, and at most I could get five. Yeah, well, you get the land too, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, I'm still going to pass. Okay. Okay, so five. One, yep. Two, four, five. All right, one each for you guys, one for the lady, one for me, and one for the saloon. Give Nikki both of those things and put her hat in there. Into the ring. My Into hat. the ring. And now I can move something too. And you reveal right? the gold mine. I reveal it? Yep. I wondered Zero. if you were psyching us <laughs> out. <laughs> okay. But you get to move the boat. So my boat's going to back yes. up. Yep, all active. Players, which is only you at this point. Yep. You get a thousand. Thank you. You are welcome. Which way are we going next, Nikki? Oh, am I still uh, the you star won. player? You are now a star player. Oh, okay. Um, flip over one of those. All right, this one. Sure. All right. Sixteen. Six. Uh, this one. Yep. Other side of the boat. Right here. Where's the galley thing? The galley. The galley thing. thing. <laughs> Two thousand. Uh. Pass. Pass. Four thousand. Five. Pass. Everybody passed. 
duel. Oh. <gasps> Just to do it. Just to duel. Hang it? on. I want to make sure I have 5,000 dollars. I can't do you if I can't. All right, shuffle them up. I don't know. It's a shuffling way. Right? Put the straw on the last. Should I just? All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so how much is it for five thousand? Five thousand. Uh, if I use this, am I getting rid of it? No, you keep it because there are some bonus cards. There are end game okay. bonus cards that give points for those. All right. One for you. Thank you. 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 And one for the saloon. There's also, um, they didn't come up in these five cards we flipped, but there are uh, shared bonus cards that also involve these tokens. Okay. Oh. So I can look at any of the mines or other players' You can games, right? look at the ranch or one of the mines or anyone's secret objective. Okay. I'm going to look at the ranch. Yeah, of course. The ranch. All right. All right. Right, right, right. Which one's next? This one. Okay. Nine. Nine up there by the six. Zigaba. Zigaba. And it starts with you. Let's open the bed at a thousand. Pass. Uh, four thousand. Pass. <laughs> six. Pass. Seven. Mm. Okay, you win. But I should have pushed you to eight. No, then I wanted you to go to eight. You had, uh, <laughs> then we'd all get two. That's what I want. You would have had to bid that. Maybe I didn't have eight. <laughs> Maybe I should have bid seven in the first place. Nice, Lincoln. You get all that. It's a nice stack. Yep. And that goes there. He also gets the token in case he needs it. And put a hat. Oh, two in a row, two contiguous. All right, where are we going next? Um, which one of these? Oh, here. All right, twelve. 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 Right twelve. The gavel goes here, starting with me. Um, hmm. Indeed. One thousand. Two. Five. Six. Man. Seven. Oof, pass. Man. Pass. I know. I, I'm. Oof. It's too rich for me. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. You got more than me. <laughs> Eight. Wow. Sarah wants it. She's counting. I do want it, but that's expensive. Now you get money back. Um, you get three thousand back. Well, it has land. train access, right? So that's good for your cattle. Nine. Yep. Yeah, I'm passing. <laughs> you guys are okay. right. right. You in for none. All right, so everybody gets two. Yep. Two wow. Of you. Thank you. Two of you, and I'm gonna have like whatever money's in the saloon, and that's all. One, and one for the saloon. And you get this. All right. Hey, that's still something. Don't forget to get. All right, next. Who has the sheriff? Oh yeah, it should have gone over there. Oh no, I did start it, that's right. Yeah. 15. 15, right here. Mm -hmm. Let's start the bidding at one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Six. Pass. What? <laughs> I gotta count. Seven. Man. <laughs> Tough. It's tough out there. Tough out there in these parts. Yeah. I, I passed. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't I think hear you so. pass. I think I did. No, you did last time. I think it's me too, right? It's seven thousand dollars. Yeah, I was like, who knows? This is not maybe, what I need. Maybe I did bid. Uh, all right, you win. Seven. You win. Okay. One. I can't fight two, you. I mean, I can fight you. But I'm not gonna four. Five, yeah, six, seven. All right. I'm handing no, it to whoever that. wants okay. to deal with that. Okay, yeah, because it's not a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a rumor. It's yeah. a rumor. Thank you. What does the rumor do? You get to look at a card. I'm going to look at the ranch. Okay. Well, you're not there. I might be. Mickey has three pieces of land. 
right? Not different though yet. Okay, she's the first person with three. Though, I'm right? paying attention. What? Okay, thank you, Lincoln. And, and the game ends when we run. We're going to do all nineteen. Okay. We're right. going to do all okay. nineteen all right. things. I was like, I'm totally not ready for us to be anywhere near the end yet. Nope. Yeah, no kidding. What's next, Nikki? Mm -hmm. uh, that one over there. This one. <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. Five. <laughs> I'm enjoying that joke. All right, five. Mmm. Mmm. That's the other mine. So that is that where that card that is. That is the mine. That is that card, yeah. Oh boy. Two. Three. Four. Uh seven. Pass. Pass. What did I do? Four? You did four? Five. Well, no, it's I did seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Seven. Eight. seven. Well, let me make sure I can even afford that. Yeah. Right. Um I think you can, but Nick with his pickle stack of money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nick so it's has only got yeah. Has Nick got any land? Uh, does yes, not look like he's it. got one piece. Oh, one right over here. We'll just nine. Nine. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I'm passing. <laughs> it hurts, but it was worth it. You could have just dueled it out for eight. Well, I couldn't because uh, it was still three people. And then, oh, you're right. And I was then, still in. Yeah. You're right. Uh, so one, two. You get this three-way three duel. Five, six. Oh. We do have two nine. guns. I mean. So there's a nine. <laughs> that's so there goes. I'll do it. Okay. Standoff. And two so we got saloon. Two for Nikki. And then Yay. two thousand. Nice. Two, two thousand for out of the bank. No, the bank. no, no. You don't take. You don't oh, take. You, you, just, you, just, you just, just add that to your score at the end. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not money he can bid with. Oh, okay. That's too bad. It's not money you can bid with. That's why you don't exchange Just like this money, correct? Because when we get it. No, when you give that money, you get that money. Okay. But that's the end of the game, right? No, I think it's when you make the conditions. No, when you get it. That, oh, money, that money is added to your bidding. Oh, Nick gets the, sh gets the shield. Where are we going next? Ding, ding. We are going to 13. 13. Lucky number 13. Right there. Where's right. the gavel? Okay. We got the gavel right here. 3,000. Man. Uh, 5,000. Uh, 6,000. I am mad with all of you. <laughs> I pass. Pass. Seven thousand. Hmm. Hmm. Pass. Pass. Yes. That was all my money. I'm very disappointed. Yep. <laughs> That's the one of each, though, right? Yes, it yeah. is one of each. Yep. Let's make it on it. So, yep. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. and seven. Yep. That's everybody. Go one for you, that. one for you, and one for you, there. and one for me, and three to the saloon. So now I can move. Yep. So if I move it back here, I will make <sighs> money. Does he me. keep this card, Dave? Yes. Okay. So keep it in front awesome. of you to indicate you've made that goal. Sir, I'm displeased. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Where are you going to move the, tr the train or the boat? Uh, I'm gonna move the train because if I move it back here, I'm the only one that will yep. get the money. Take you didn't it want you getting this money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Toot toot. Right. Toot. This is that's that one's no longer obtainable because it's specifically that land. No, it's, it's just three it's, it's just any three. three. Yeah. Okay. It's just any three. Okay. You. Are you who's blue? I, I yeah. Am. yeah. She I can, can get, get it here. here. Sure, or, sure. or here, right? She can get it here. Or, right. Is that attached Lincoln, to this? Lincoln, you can get it here. Cool. Kay. All right, winner. Where are we going next? We are going to two. Two. Up there somewhere. <laughs> Got to put the right way. All right. Start with you. One. Uh, two. Pass. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five. Pass. 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 Did you win it again? Yes. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's time for the comeback. <laughs> for four? Uh, five. five. All right. One Thank you. you. One for you. One for you. All right. What is this? Yep. Um, you um, can leave it there or you can move it. I can leave it and still gain money. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I mean, or you can move it to there and do the same thousand, but right. But, uh, Blue will also get that thousand. No, no, if you no, go, if you go up, move it up, up there. there. Oh, if I move it there. Where are we going next? Um, we are going to three. Three. All right, that's right next I'm to this. Oh. oh my. Oh my. All right, so we're gonna start off at one. 
<sighs> Three. Dang Four. <laughs> five. Six. Pass. Seven. The most of mine can be worth is... Five. Pass. 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 I fired past. You won it. I thought you won it. He bid oh. seven. Oh, he bid seven. It'd be nice. Mm. Not likely. One. One. Look at that big fat saloon. All right. Zero! Wah, wah. <laughs> wow, so both zeros came out. Yeah. Um, ha oh. Is that? Yeah, no. no. Here, he didn't put it out there. Dave, you won. Yep. And I will move the boat to here. Choo choo. No, that's a boat. Toot toot. Mm -hmm. And get a thousand for me. <laughs> Let's do 18. Okay. Right there. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. The thing with the stuff. Well, now that Nick, like, busted up my set here. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I will bid one. Two. Pass. Three. Pass. Four. Five. Pass. Five. Pass. Six. Pass. A one. A two. two. A three. <laughs> a three. And uh, I will look at this card since we've all looked at it already. Next up is number one. I think that's up in there, right? It's all the way yep. up in the corner. And I will bid three. Um. Pass. Five. Pass. 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 Okay. That would have been three in a row for me. Continuous. <laughs> I didn't have the money. One here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. One. One. And one. All right, Lincoln, where are we going next? Four to go. Eleven. Eleven. Down Eleven here. D. Right there. That's sixteen. Eleven. Sixteen. There's eleven. Hmm. Huh. Oh, if only there was nothing here. I won that, so. Yep. Anyway, here you one, go. Uh, uh, 1,000. Um, two. 4,000. Five. Nope. Passing. Mm. Five. Mm -hmm. Six. Pass. Pass. Oh, sorry, yeah. Seven. Eight. Oh. Just you two. Hmm. No, Just you two, huh? <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> you gotta draw guns, kid. I know, I know. I'm gonna pass. You nine. in for nine. Not enough dueling going on. Yeah, in well, when, you know. I know. Thought about it, but I didn't want to pay nine. Right. <laughs> if it was eight, I'd have paid it. Yep. Wasn't it eight at first? No, she bid nine and then he oh, had to okay. decide. Right. Two. Two. Nikki. Oh, sorry. Two. Two. All right. That guy doesn't give you. No one's got four. Is this contiguous? No. The oh, river and the was. railroad break stuff up. Oh. Where are we going next? Let's go. Eight. Oh, then the Pappy. Pappy Parker store. <laughs> <laughs> Pappy Parker's fried chicken. Yeah. There you go. That's okay. got you all over it. Uh, let's start with one. Two. Seven. Yep. <laughs> Pass. 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 Dang it. Eight. Nine. Pass. All Should right. Duel, Nikki. Yeah. Could have gone for the duel. I know. It just, I don't. That gives him an objective. It's good. He has to pay for that. Okay, two for you, two for you, two for you, two for me, one in the saloon. Hey, that's three. What yep. was the token first? Um, what? What was the token you just picked up? Was it the boat movement? Yes. yes. All right. The only one I've picked up. So do that too. <clears throat> boat or train. Boat or train. Stay there. Gives you a thousand. Okay. You and I each get a thousand. And then this is... Yep. 
three can take this nice. You could have moved the boat. I mean, then you're choosing. No, then every, then three right. people would get money. Okay. It it pays off everybody. All right. All right. Two more to go. Which one? Um. Yep. Seventeen. Seventeen. That's over here. That's the ranch. The ranch. <sighs> Two people have seen this already. Where's the thing? I can't uh, see it. There it is. I cannot see it. Thank you. Starts with you, Lincoln. Uh, Two thousand. Three. Uh, six. Pass. Pass. Um. Seven. Eight. Pass. Pass. That's five for you, right? I think you're the uh, first person to get five. Yep, you have ten yep. tokens, so go ahead and pay the eight. Eight. There you go. Two. <laughs> two. Jump change back. Two. Two. All right, turn over your exciting ranch. Oh and my gosh. You get this. <laughs> you want to look at someone's secret objective card? Does it really matter? There's one auction to go. Yeah, no. All right. Here comes the last option. 14. Right here. Oh. Alright, no one's getting the saloon objective, right? What is the, that? That's if you win the saloon and there's no money in it, which is right. not possible oh, at this point. Happen, yeah. That will not give you the other objective, right, Nikki? You're the only one that could have that sort of all around the place. Yeah, I'm all around. Uh, oh, wait! To be? One, two, three, four. You get that one too. Nice. You have four pieces of land that all don't touch each other. Okay. In fact, you had it last turn. All right, Richie McRichardson, you start the bidding on this piece of land right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, one. Uh, <laughs> one bid. Three. Four. Five. I would like to oh, say sorry, five. Okay, six. <laughs> um, pass. <sighs> Well, I passed. That land is worth exactly six to me. Bid so is I at pass. six. Yes. Who? It's you? No, it's you and Nikki and Lincoln are still in. Yeah. Right, so, so you cannot duel, duel right okay. now. Pass. Now you can duel. Yeah. yeah. Seven. Pass. Okay. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You get that. One, two, three goes here. No, we each thank get you. One, 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 one. All right. I think Nick is the most pieces on the board, right? He's got five. Does anyone else have five? No. Okay. So you get five thousand dollars for that. Ooh. Four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, and five. And then just add up the things that you can add up. So. I know. I'm not. Didn't do that. My goals, whatever zero. your secret goals are. They were a lot, almost all of them were zeros. Yeah. Well, I think uh, this one was the only one with two, two grand. This one is just this much for each space around this one. Right? Yes. So you okay. get six thousand for that. Nine. Wow. I have three plots of land, <laughs> and only one does this. And it's three thousand times how many tokens I have. Yep. Yep. All right. I have 21. I have 16. 18. 33. 30. Oh! Wow. You pulled it out! $22 and... Hey, oh, money. Yeah. yeah, money is money. That saloon part, I think, but right. wow. Yeah, this is pretty good, though, but you guys are bidding it up. It was another <gasps> which plot around the... Uh, amazing. Around the saloon, right? Yep. I only got two of them. This one I was... That was the one I was Oh, like, you thought oh, that was around yeah, the saloon? Yeah, I'm like, oh, hey, wait a second, that's not a saloon. It got you the contiguous sure thing, did. though, so yeah. it worked out. Well, what do you think, Nikki? There's a lot going on, actually. Um, a lot of decisions and keeping track of the... Uh, objectives, yeah. These objectives here were kind of nut. was kind of nuts. Yep. I kept kind of sort of working on it and then forgetting about it and worrying about my own two objectives. Right. Um, well, but I, I liked five. it. It was fun. I, <laughs> I think if there was more dueling that went on, it maybe it would have been 
I don't know if it's the group of us being too, like, we want to know what we're going to end up with and we want to uh, spend three. exactly what we want to spend. So nobody was really saying, let's duel and, right. and having fun with whatever the outcome might be. Well, I think part but... of it is the duel is a risk. And if you can bid one more yeah. and spend it, that's a guarantee, yeah. right? I mean, one of the reasons that I dueled was I I couldn't go. I didn't have the money to bid one more. Right. right. And I want. And I thought, well, if I can win it at the, at the I'll bid, sp I'll yeah. spend all my money, right? Right. Or or maybe you don't want to bid it up, right? Let's say you bid for. Let's say you bid six thousand for mm -hmm. something, and I have eight thousand in cash. Well, I could bid seven and win it, and then I'd have one left. Or I could just take a chance. Yeah. And duel you for the six, and if I win, at least I I'm saving a thousand. Right. Sure. What do you think, sir? I think it's interesting. There is kind of a lot going on with like your secret objectives and then these things off to the side here. Um, I like the area control aspects of it mixed in with like the secret objectives that sort of work to that end. Uh, it was interesting. I didn't do very well though. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it's an auction. Determining value is always rough. Like how much should I go for? Right. And I, I drew the line. I'm like, okay, it's over. I'm going to lose money now on that on that proposition, you know, to, to get that piece of land. I, I definitely wanted these pieces, right? I think, it, yeah, it was those four pieces around mm -hmm. there. And you guys are bidding them too high. I'm like, it's not going to happen. Uh, and then this here, same idea. What did you think, Nick? Uh, I thought it was a little double-edged sword with the with a lot going on because I liked it. I liked how I, all the moving pieces to try to keep up with it, but also there's a lot of moving pieces going on because yeah. yeah, I missed uh, a couple bonuses. Um, yeah, but I think we got them. Oh, yeah, we, right? yeah so you guys helped me out. You're like, hey, here we go. Like, oh. and, and I think you, you missed it by one turn, right? And you yeah. won the two auctions in a row. Was it, we just didn't uh, right. look at that because I was paying attention. That's why I asked. I thought Sarah was going to get that one. That yeah, I, ended up I didn't realize the river split up the land mass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The river and, and the train track. Taken, it was one of these got taken out from under me. Right. Then I was like, okay, well, I'll go that way then. Right. And so. Nick, Nick got you there. Yeah. The one that you were... There were two instances I wanted to duel, but I was, uh, everyone passed when I could have tried to duel, and then I didn't have enough money to do a duel. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, I was I like really, here it comes. <laughs> no, I really I'll, I'll, I'll to... straight back up. <laughs> I really wanted to duel on that turn where it was the three of us still uh, okay. in, right. because I only had $6,000. Right. So yeah. I was like, okay, but I really wanted that piece of property. But okay. right. right, and the problem is, if you bid the six, and it gets down to you and someone else, that's because it'll be at seven. Yeah. And then yeah. you can't do yeah. anymore. Yeah. Right. Well, the thing for me that's fun about it is, as far as an auction game goes, usually I'm terrible about judging value. Mm -hmm. I'm just terrible. Like, I overspend on everything. This is the only thing I... And it was fine. I mean, it, it, like you said, it got me that. Right. Because um, there's no chance of me getting any other way. Everything else I won was... Uh, the only other thing I won was over here. If you can determine the value and figure it out and not go much beyond that... Um, and I mean, I threw in the towel a lot, but I mean, ultimately, you, you guys only had three properties, so you didn't you didn't go crazy for it either. And yours was three thousand per guy, per these guys, right? So this this piece of land filled both of my objectives. So oh. it was worth six thousand to me, but anything I bid more than that is not worth anything right. at the end of the game. Now, sure. at the beginning of the game, I would overspend because maybe I'm building towards something. Right. There was a little too much going on for me in this, mm. as far as, I don't mean in a, I mean, you, it, I, either a good or bad, I'm not saying that's either good or bad. I decided for this game to do what I sometimes do in an auction game, which was I was just going to sit back and not bid for a while and see how much money I could get while you guys paid for things. And the problem with that was I didn't anticipate this. Right. The yeah. shared bonuses, which mm. has kind of a weird rich get richer thing for me. There's something to be said for being aggressive early on because if you can get to that, especially if the three in a row, for example, the three contiguous one was the big money, all of a sudden that's a big cash influx that you now have that you can bid with again. And that seems a little weird to me, right? That you can, that you can go all out with your money for land and not have it hurt you as much. It's definitely strange the way that the money sort of flows in and out in the game. Yeah. Because I, I had the most on the board, but Lincoln had the most money in hand. It's kind of rewarding that you don't always have to win every single one. You just right. have to win key points in well, your strategy. No, that was actually very cool. cool. Winning the uh, winning yeah, that, that was huge that for was, me, yeah. and then getting 7,000 here. So yeah, that was, was probably... quite a bit when you took that. That was like, yeah, yeah. like 13,000 between these two things, right? right? You know, I still think I would have done pretty good. Because I, I have 20... 33... 36. I have 36,000. Um, the other five we didn't use, because you do five... Uh, 
This goes to whoever wins the last auction of the game. Oh, nice. Okay. And that's a... That's, what, that's oh, one of these that you put up, yeah. right? That could be very interesting. This is four of a kind. Oh, wow. Huh. This is... Well, that's harder. That yeah. only smaller player game player count games, I think you could probably even do that. I right. mean, you could fight it out and try real right. hard, what but it's hard. I have more two. dueling. I had yeah, three. I think more dueling would actually occur two. with that happening. Yeah. This is three plots, any three plots not touching the railroad, and alternatively, any three plots not touching the river, and then uh, just one of each. Oh, cool. Which, I, I didn't which think none of us did. Did, anyone, did you get one of each? No, no. no. Wow, well, no, none of us no. actually. Oh, Link, Nikki did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I, I don't think this was as big a deal as you thought because this didn't come, didn't really pay it out. It takes a while yet. before it shows up, right. for sure. That's for sure. I, I think that, like, mine paid out just the turn prior, right? Yeah. You know? I didn't go crazy on that last auction either. It, I, I don't think it. If, I mean, it means that you, you might not be able to beat somebody with that much money, but I, I didn't bet on. It also depends on which card lands on which thing, right? Sure. Right. For example, the have five properties was the lowest one. Right. Yeah. Which is crazy because that's a yeah. lot of property. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it may, but in a weird way that seems almost right because if you've got five properties before everyone else, then you're you, you've money. got a lot of land, and yeah. that you probably might be scoring more with it, right. depending, depending on what your objectives are. You'll get whatever money's under it, and then also if you have the majority, which is a good chance because you have so many already out there, like when you get five. Well, that's like, right, because you got yeah. five thousand for yeah. that as right. well yeah. at the mm -hmm. end of the game. But you said it earlier, player count, or you said it, player count matters, was, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It would change for sure the structure of what's going on, what you might want to do. Yeah. Um, these are cool, though. I like the hidden goals. Yeah. I was really yeah. nervous yeah. at first. I'm like, wow, am I going to make any of these? Right. I, I gave up on these. I'm like, right. forget it. Let right. me just get one of them somewhere, maybe two if I'm lucky. And uh, I, I kind of threw in the towel on that one. The train and the boat. Yep. The, the only thing that they do in the game is move back and forth and players who yeah, are near them money. get like, a little bit of money. Yeah, that's, that's a weird one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a little strange. Everything felt like, maybe because it's five players, I don't know. Everything felt like I, I wanted the game to go like four more turns or three <laughs> more turns. Do you well, know what I mean? By the time we were built up where you could maybe make money off the train or the boat. It did go very quickly. It was yeah. sort of too yeah. late to move it. But this is random, right? Sure. Yeah. What if the first five things we flipped up were all of those It was crazy. Over? Some of these were here for a long time. Yeah. Well, what's the age range, um, range on this? Eight plus. Oh. Eight plus. So I think that answers some of the... So, no, I do. <laughs> no, I think um, you're right. I just, you don't funny. want a, a child to sit there without money to be able to bid right. and be twiddling their thumbs and bored. You can't have the game go on too terribly long because yep. the t attention span isn't necessarily there. So uh, I think that that's some of what's going on with some of these decisions um, as far as the, handing out the money and the length of the game. And also first play itis, right? Yeah. yeah. Now that now that I've played it, for example, now that we've all played it, you get a relative feel for like, okay, now I know the tempo of this game and how it sort of moves and what I maybe need to do next time. And I, I felt like at first it like started out kind of slowly where you're just sort of like, okay, here, there, whatever. And right. then by the time I sort of knew what I was aiming for, then right. it was like three turns left, and I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to get to do it now. Right, right. So. I like how it had that first-time auction game thing where we're like two, three, and then by halfway through the game, we're like seven, eight. Like, we just got there. We just skipped one. Yeah. Like three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you might as well push it up and get rid of the people that are just timidly bidding, right? <laughs> right. That's my feeling. That's why I bid that one... Whatever one it was that I'm like, I want that one. Well, that's another tick. And it was only like, I think I only bid 4,000. But it was still, I'm like, let's yeah. get these one twos and stuff yeah. out of the way. Yeah. Well, another tick in the player count box, right? With In a four-player game, the seven bid is not the same as in a five-player game, right? As far as how much money again goes in the saloon. Right. There's something to be said for that as well. Like, if you can, if you think you can get that saloon later, it almost behooves you to bid seven instead of eight and just hope that that 3,000 It was funny. I think there was you. one time... That the I mean it definitely emptied out, it was but it, empty, but but yeah. people had money that would go in almost every yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. But one time it was absolutely empty, yeah. and it wasn't. And, yeah. and it was not a saloon that went up next. Yeah. So I was like, well, that's not going to happen. I like that objective actually. I do too. I, I like the idea that it might not happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely more compelling to me than some of the other ones. Right. Well, again, we just shoveled them and did them randomly. The win the last auction of the game would be interesting, right? Yeah. yeah. For sure. Although. 
also the most mathy. It's not hard to figure out exactly what that last plot of land is worth to you then. Yeah. Right. And just bid accordingly. That was my least interesting option to me. Right, right. That's yeah. one of the game. Well, thanks for teaching us, Dave. Why, you're welcome, Lincoln. <laughs> and thank you for watching Game Med. Have you subscribed to the channel or liked us? If not, consider doing so. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notifications. Happy Winchester. We'll be proud. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.